Hey, what is going on everybody? It's your favorite introvert here. And today we're going to be talking about the DJI Assistant 2 app and how it relates to the Spark. We will also be taking a look at installing or downgrading firmware updates. So let's get into it. Let's start off by downloading the Assistant 2 app to our PC or Mac. You can find the link in the description below or on DJI's website. Simply Google search Assistant 2 app for Spark and select the link to the correct DJI link. Should be the first one that comes up. From here, we will scroll to the software section on the page and select the appropriate executable file for your PC or Mac. You can also download the release notes here as well. Since I'm running a PC, I will select the zip and .exe files. For PC users, I recommend holding off on the download because you may have an additional step, and we will cover that step now. For Mac users, you should be good to go for the download and installation. If you are a PC user and running any form of Windows 8.1 or Windows 10, you may run into a driver issue if you install the Assistant 2 app direct to your machine. The driver issue will appear when you try to connect your DJI drone to the Assistant 2 app. It will show a connection error. The problem relates to the way Windows handles unsigned drivers. It will prompt if you would like to install them, but will not properly install them or will not load the drivers altogether, leaving the computer unable to read the data from the drone to the app, causing connectivity issues. If that's the case, then follow these steps to correct this issue. First step is to reboot into advanced features by holding down the shift key and selecting restart. Select the option to troubleshoot, advanced options, and startup settings. This will reboot the computer into the settings screen we will need. Second step, once the computer has rebooted into startup settings, you want to select the option for Disable Driver Signature Enforcement. This option is number 7 on my computer. This will allow the Assistant 2 app to load all the necessary drivers onto the computer for the app to fully work with your DJI drones. Third step is to let the computer reboot and log in as usual. Now we can install the DJI Assistant 2 app. From here, we take the .exe file that we downloaded from the DJI website and double click to start the program. The app will walk you through the installation process for a simple and easy to use experience. Once the installation is complete, it will ask if you would like to open up the Assistant 2 app. If this is your first time opening up the Assistant 2 app, it will ask you to log in using your DJI credentials. This is the credentials or the email address that you entered in when you activated your drone. Now that we have the Assistant 2 app installed, let's get the Spark ready. First, we want to remove the props from all four corners since we will be plugging the Spark in uncontrolled. Secondly. We lift up the back cover to reveal the micro USB and SD card slot holder. Then connect your micro USB to the Spark and connect it to the computer. Now it is safe to power on the Spark. With the difficult part behind us, we can now upgrade or downgrade the firmware on the Spark. With the Spark powered on and connected, the Spark will now show up in the app. Once selected, it will open up into the main panel where you can view the tools available for the Spark. The very top option is Firmware Update, so let's select that. Here in the Firmware Update page, it will display your current firmware on the top left in blue and it will list the three most current firmware updates. It gives you the option to refresh your current firmware in case it somehow gets corrupted or it lists the two firmwares that are available to downgrade to. So let's downgrade first and see what happens. Select the downgrade button and it will pop up with a to-do list. Make sure you're connected to the internet and the Spark is powered on. Also ensure that the Spark has enough battery life for the procedure. Also that the USB is connected throughout the entirety of the process. The downgrade process goes in three phases, download, transmitting, and updating phases, and takes about 10 to 15 minutes to complete with no user intervention from me at all.
Once the downgrade is complete, the app will prompt you Update Complete, and it is safe to return to the Firmware Update screen. You can do this by selecting the Back button or the Firmware Update in the menu. Once you return to the Update menu, you can see that the downgrade is complete and you are now running an outdated version of firmware. Now let's update to the latest firmware version and see how that goes. Upgrading the firmware is the exact same process as downgrading. Be sure to follow the process carefully and keep the Spark connected throughout the whole process. Once the upgrade is complete, ensure that the Spark's current firmware is displaying the firmware that you just upgraded to. At this point, it is safe to disconnect the Spark and go out and fly. Just remember to reset the IMU and Compass calibration to ensure your day of flying is full of fun. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe for more content. Thanks for checking out my channel. I'll see you next video.